Oh, I love this show so much. I was part of this. I retweeted anything I needed to retweet to get the show renewed. Are you someone who gets really passionate about TV shows? Very. For sure. Like, Netflix is my hobby. Definitely. I have my, like, ride or die shows. We're going to be taking a look at some popular TV shows that were canceled and then revived because of their dedicated fan bases. Seriously? Oh, that's cool. Oh my god, I hope Brooklyn Nine-Nine is there. Because I was tweeting like crazy, but they needed to bring it back. And while Star Trek and Twin Peaks were among some of the first shows to be saved by their fans, we're focusing on some more modern okay. examples. Okay. This episode was actually picked by Dens Upon a Time, one of our Diamond members from the FBE Superfam. Oh damn, you fancy Diamond, what's good? Thank you. Aw, I know Dens Upon a Time, you're always on the streams. Thank you for suggesting this. Every month, our Diamond members have access to an exclusive live stream with producers here at FBE. We brainstorm ideas, and these Diamond members get to pitch episode ideas that we will actually make, just like this one. Wow, that's so cool. That's like different level of like interaction plus like being involved in it. It's, it's really cool. Fans watching at home can check the links in the description to find out how they can pick what we cover on FBE. That's cool. I would want to pick what you guys do and what I can react to. That sounds cool. Are you ready to dive into these shows? Yeah, I'm pumped. Yeah. Oh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine! I remember this! I was on Twitter when all of this was happening, too. Everyone was so sad when the show was canceled. This show is just so good. You don't understand. Yeah, this show has like a dedicated fan base for sure. I've been wanting to watch the show. I heard it's good. I need to start all the way from season one. Every episode, I just laugh so, so much. And I love like Amy and Rosa, like both of them, like my Latina girls. They're just so... Different characters, but still like very representative of like the Latin community. So it's just like, oh, it's like such a good show. That was the show Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which ran for five seasons on Fox before being canceled. The fans took to social media to make their voices heard and it was picked up by NBC for its sixth season and is about to enter its seventh season this February. Oh, wow. Yeah, I remember when it got canceled, like it was a big deal and like everyone got like really mad. Dang, so Fox effed up real hard. Yikes. Oh, I love Kim Possible, oh my goodness. Kim Possible! <gasps> my queen! Kim Possible was canceled back in the day? I watched Kim Possible as a kid. I never felt like there was a break in between seasons or like some sort of thing where it wasn't gonna come back. Yo, I remember like I, being in like elementary thinking like, yo, this is the most badass person ever. Kim Possible is just, an iconic Disney Channel cartoon. Kim Possible initially ended after three seasons and 65 episodes per the standard for Disney Channel at the time. Fans loved it and organized to have it picked back up for a fourth season. Because of this, it's become one of the longest running Disney Channel original series. Wow, see, you can't cancel good stuff like that. You know, come on, Disney, wake up. I honestly deserves it. I don't know, honestly, it was just such a fun show. Showing that girls can be the ones leading the shows, girls can be the ones doing all the fight and all the badass stuff. Oh, I love her! The Mindy Project. Okay, okay. I've never seen it. Heard a lot about it. Mindy Kaling? I'm gonna assume the Mindy, the Mindy Project. Okay, I have no idea what the show is. I feel like I should know what it is, but I have no idea. I didn't watch Mindy Project, but I've seen like the promos and a few little things about it. And it feel like it's something I would enjoy. I just wasn't of the age to start watching it during that time because I was still pretty young. I'm such a sucker for doctor shows and female-led shows. This show has both of those elements. The Mindy Project was canceled after its initial three season run on Fox. However, the instant fans got wind that Hulu was interested in the comedy series. They took to Twitter with the hashtag Hulu Save Mindy and gave their thoughts on why it should return. It was picked up for a multi-season deal and concluded two seasons later. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. It's crazy how much a fan base can actually work and do whatever they want to do and end up getting what they want. Veronica Mars. Oh, Veronica Mars. Okay, I've heard of this. I didn't really watch it, but I heard of it. <gasps> I heard about this. Okay, I've actually never seen the show either, but I love Kristen Bell. Kristen Bell looks kind of the same. Like, she's been doing good. Veronica Mars. I've never heard of this show. It's so funny when they make high school students protagonists of super serious, like, either detective things or like Buffy. I wish I was a detective, but I was a snotty teenager. I wasn't doing any of that. Veronica Mars was initially canceled back in the early 2000s, but but fans raised $7,000 to get a plane with a banner that said, Renew Veronica Mars CW 2006. 
What? They also sent 10,000 Mars bars and marshmallows to the CW offices. Eventually, it would get its season three and be canceled yet again. Aww. Then, show creator Rob Thomas began a Kickstarter which raised $2 million in less than 11 hours to create a movie. Following that, Hulu renewed the show for season four, only to receive mixed reactions from fans. Okay, what I want to know is, if it's that good, why do they keep canceling it? That is crazy. They need to make a show just about that. About how Veronica Mars just doesn't die. She keeps coming back. Ooh, the HD quality. Oh my god! Lucifer, right? Ah! Ooh, sexy! <gasps> Lucifer! Oh my god! Is this Lucifer? I was so happy when this got back because I started watching it again. Oh, I remember hearing about this. It got picked up by Netflix. I didn't even know it got canceled. Like, I just, I started watching Lucifer and Netflix. And I finished the whole season in two days. One season, two days. I didn't start, like, watching it until it was confirmed that it was like brought back. And I was like, what's so good about this that it got brought back, right? I watched like the first season in like two days. Lucifer ran for three seasons on Fox before it was canceled. Fans started the hashtag Save Lucifer, which caught the attention of some major actors, such as Lucifer himself, Tom Ellis. Netflix renewed the show for a fourth season, promising an even darker and riskier version than the original cable show. Yeah. Because I guess Netflix can take those liberties of like, you know, doing what they want with this character. It's a little risky because it's, you have a set tone already and if you try to make it darker or a little different than before, you might have people that don't agree with it or think, oh, this isn't what I wanted. Now that it's gotten picked up by a streaming service, it can get a little bit riskier and a little bit darker and kind of give fans what they were hoping for that they wouldn't get on a cable show. Ah, of course. Uh, Arrested Development. Oh, Arrested Development? Yeah, I've seen that still. Is that on right now? I know it got like a lot of love because I still hear about it, but I have no clue what the show's about. Honestly, I've only wanted to watch the show because Michael Sarah's in it. I didn't watch the Netflix one because I watched one episode and saw how old Michael Sarah looked trying to play uh, his character and was like, I think I'll wait a little. So Rest of Development was canceled by Fox after its second season, but fans knew there was always money in the banana stand. So they sent dozens of fake bananas to the producers to get the show renewed for a third season. What? It worked. Obviously. However, the show was canceled again. What? So they sent more bananas? Fans never gave up hope. They kept strong, making websites like SaveOurBlues.com. Eventually, the show would be picked up for its final two seasons on Netflix. Netflix saved the day. It's like, you know they say one man's trash is another man's treasure? It's, that's Netflix's motto. These fans are my favorite. Like, I love the actual, like, sending things, not just tweeting, but when they, like, physically, like, do something about it, it's like they love that show. <laughs> oh! I love this show so much. One day at a time? Yeah, I've never seen it before. My sister has talked a lot about it though. I feel like this is the biggest one I've seen, like on Twitter. I was one of the Twitter users. I was part of this. I retweeted anything I needed to retweet to get this show renewed. Oh, this is one of the most heartwarming shows I've actually ever seen. And it did end too soon in my opinion. And I'm just so happy it's coming back. One Day at a Time actually marks the first time a streaming show has been saved by a cable network. Oh. Oh, I thought this was only on Netflix. Wait, are you serious? Yes. Yes! After three seasons, Netflix announced they would be canceling the series. Fans once again took to creating a hashtag save one day at a time, sharing their stories about the significance of a sitcom that shows a Latinx family in America in a way that can be enjoyable to all types of fans. CBS-owned network Pop TV felt one day at a time would be in line with their channel and decided to pick it up for its fourth season, which will be airing this March. Yo, it really hurt because I binged all of it on Netflix and I heard it wasn't coming back and my heart was literally broken. I was so mad they canceled it. It didn't misrepresent like this community, right? It was so real. We showed you a lot of shows today that were saved by their passionate fan bases. 
What do you think about the power of fans and how it can influence the media we watch? It's crazy, especially within these like recent years, how much social media and like a fan base can really affect a TV show. I think it's like necessary because we are the consumers. In the end, they decide whether they ax it or they keep it going. But like, I think it is important for like audiences to have a voice and to like, let it be known like, hey, we like this thing. We're the ones who are saying like whether this is popular or not, or like if this is funny or not, you know? And so we actually hold a lot of power. They're trying to appeal something to the crowd. They have to make sure that the crowd is enjoying it. And finally, what show were you so excited to see brought back? I mean, now that I know Lucifer was like, almost gone. Brooklyn Nine-Nine and Lucifer, like those two are like my top. I can't choose one or the other. One day at a time, I am just can't wait. I'm ready to cry and I'm ready to laugh. And I'm just gonna binge it again. Well, it's coming on TV, so I can't even binge it, but it's fine. As long as I'm getting more episodes. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of College Kids React. Subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss an episode. Bye! Hey y'all, FBE producer Blythe here. Want to be a part of episodes just like this one? Well then join our super fam where we are making each tier better than the last. You can click the link in the description or join under the video. Bye!